Hey, what's good y'all, it's Tom with Convenient Keto and I'm really excited to take a look at some cereals today that are not nut-based, not seed-based. Uh, a lot of people have been asking about that, right? They've been looking for, for ones that don't have nuts and seeds uh, and uh, this company has delivered. So I'm talking about this protein-based cereal from the Cereal School. All right, here we go, the cereal school. Two flavors, there's fruity, and there is cinnamon bun. And I love the packaging. Uh, these little packets are kind of like the equivalent of those little mini boxes that you would get at like a hotel or something. And um, so they're perfectly portioned out for you. All right, let's take a quick look at the nutrition facts for the fruity. Um, with the fat, there's nothing much to write home about there, but you realize you know, it's not like a granola-based one, which is fattier and more filling. Um, there is one gram of carb, and it is from dietary fiber. More on that later. And then the last thing you see here is 16 grams of protein. So what you're basically seeing is this is gonna be heavily protein-based. And so that is reflective down here in the ingredients. The main one is milk protein isolate. So you know it's gonna be a very proteiny kind of um, taste, right? You would expect it to have kind of a, a, a protein bar kind of flavor because that's the main ingredient. Um, there's some sunflower oil that accounts for that three and a half grams of fat. And then there's tapioca fiber. You know, we've written about tapioca fiber in the past and we've said, hey, if it appears in small quantities, we're okay with it. So that little one gram of dietary fiber up there that we talked about earlier, we're not gonna treat it as fiber. We're just gonna treat it as, you know, just a, a normal carb. So rather than a zero gram net carb rating, I would give this a one gram net carb rating. Again, still really, really good. Um, so it's nothing to, to really worry about. And then the rest of it is some natural flavor. That's where that fruitiness is going to come from. And then you have monk fruit as the only sweetener. Uh, and there's not a lot of sweetener because the fiber is one gram, so it's going to be less than a gram. And then lastly, just kind of a kid-friendly thing is that the coloring is all natural, right? You got the paprika and the beet juice used for color another bonus for this. Now looking at the cinnamon bun flavor, everything with the nutrition facts is the same, so we just wanna look at the ingredients. And no surprises here, they're basically the same ingredients, um, except that now there is cinnamon that's added and there's no um, coloring. Let's start with fruity. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at the actual product. Look at this stuff. This is the fruity. Uh, you do see the coloring there, which is great. Uh, one thing you can't see is the smell. It smells like Fruit Loops, is which, which is what you're hoping for, right? With something called Fruity, you want it to be like uh, Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles. And um, these are basically little Fruity Pebbles. And looking at the texture and having tasted some of this, the texture is perfect. You're looking for that cereal uh, kind of kicks crunch. It's airy, it's crunchy. You get that same sort of bite. They really got the texture right here. So when you initially taste this stuff, you get that overwhelming Fruit Loops flavor, which is perfect. And you get a really nice sweetness as well. Um, one thing I will say though, is that the only sweetener is monk fruit, which for me in the past has, you know, you, you get the flavor up front, but then it dies really quickly. Um, so as I was finishing off the bite, you know, that sweetness went away. It's not that lasting sugar sweetness that you're used to. So just something to note. Now we're gonna test it with some milk. And you know, our go-to is that milkadamia because it doesn't impart too much nutty flavor or anything like that. So um, it'll be a good vessel for our cereal. Here it is with some milk. Again, it didn't get soggy, so that's great. It maintains its crunchiness. A little hard to see here, but the color does come out into the milk a little bit, so that's nice and familiar. Um, with the taste, I think you can get by with unsweetened, but like I said, uh, the sweetness falls away really quickly after the initial kind of uh, bite. So 
Uh, what I would do, you know, if you're giving this to kids, maybe they're already just still eating whole milk or whatever. Um, that'll probably be fine with normal milk. Uh, but for unsweetened milk, I would say add some sort of sweetener to, to sweeten your milk. That's keto friendly. So yeah, I did just add some Sola sweetener, which I like because Sola has like a little more than just erythritol. It has some tagatose, which leaves a little more of that lasting sweetness. And uh, that worked out perfectly. Just, just a little bit to sweeten up the milk and it, it really brought out the flavor. So uh, if you're gonna try with completely unsweetened milk, you might be okay, but you'll definitely take it to the next level if you just add a little bit of uh, you know, low carb, low glycemic sweetener to the milk. All right, now out of the bag here is the cinnamon flavor, cinnamon bun, and there's no food coloring, so it's that kind of plain white protein powder uh, kind of coloring. And then you see there's cinnamon on, on the outside. Um, there's no like maltodextrin or anything or any binders to help the cinnamon uh, stick to the outside. So there's not like a ton of cinnamon here. If you've ever had like a cinnamon protein bar or like like especially from like Quest or from Marigold, these taste just like that. So not a cinnamon toast crunch, which is what I was hoping for, but it's kind of like a cinnamon protein bar taste. So for the sweetness, we still have that same kind of sweetness falling off thing. So when I add my milk here, I'm gonna add a little bit of sweetener and some cinnamon as well. So the sweetener in the unsweetened milk really helps. Um, the added cinnamon really adds a kick. I like it. It's still not a cinnamon toast crunch, um, but maybe that's just me, right? Expecting that, that it would be cinnamon toast crunch. It's really, it is closer to a cinnamon bun. And really, if you've, again, if you've ever had a cinnamon bun flavored protein bar, it's going to taste very similar. So just quick summary. Uh, first thing is texture, right? If you're missing that airy cereal that you know you're not getting out of the nuts and seeds kind of uh, cereals, this is really going to hit the spot from that crunch perspective, right? As Sonia likes to say, crunch factor 1000, and uh, that definitely fits the bill here. Um, the next thing is flavor. Uh, the Fruit Loops kind of fruity pebbles flavor of the fruity one is right on point. I mean, that smell, that flavor, it is right there. Um, the cinnamon bun one does taste like a cinnamon bun. It's, you know, it's like a, a cinnamon bun flavored protein bar, not cinnamon toast crunch. So if you are looking for a cinnamon toast crunch, it's probably not gonna hit that spot, but that doesn't mean it doesn't taste like a cinnamon bun and isn't good. No, it, it, I mean, it tastes just like that. So um, just something to consider. Uh, and then the next thing is sweetness, right? With both of them, you get the initial sweetness right up front. So right when you taste the fruity, I mean, it, it's just like perfect. Um, but there isn't like a lasting sweetness. Um, so that's why when we threw in the milk in the, into the mix, it didn't work out um, as far as the sweetness levels. So um, easy fix, just add some stevia, erythritol, whatever sweetener you like. We like the Sola sweetener because it has some tagatose in there too which adds a little bit of that, that kind of like sugary sweetness. Um, so definitely needs sweetened, uh, sweetened milk in some capacity. I mean, you might be okay with unsweetened milk, but uh, I mean, you know, it really complements it a lot better with the uh, milk that's a little bit sweeter. And the last thing I'll touch upon is that, that nutrition, right? Uh, it is high protein, so 16 grams per serving um for your macros and then that tapioca fiber is in there as well so we treat it as one gram net carb for that serving so again the cereal school here wrapping up two solid options if you're missing that kind of airy crunchy cereal that you've been looking for um, also great if you're like substituting for kids who might already be drinking regular milk um, you can probably just sub this right in and they'd be okay with it. Uh, again, if you're using unsweetened milk alternatives, we suggest adding some sweetness, but um, this should really hit the spot for those of you who are looking for um, those cereals that don't have nuts and seeds.
due to allergies or you know some other sort of health issues this is now a solid option